big knife or small knife? I say you need both. Most men carry a pocket knife or a little folding hunting knife with them, so you got a smaller knife with you. You can do things with a big knife you cannot do with a small knife. You're normally not carrying a hatchet with you out in the woods. You got a knife that's big enough you can do some chopping with. I've camped here before, so I got some stuff here. I'm going to use this right here as a chopping block. We're going to split some kindling. If you have something like this that you want to split, you're not going to hold this and start chopping on it. You're going to cut your finger. You take another stick, you hold that stick up, you use this knife, look at that, look at that, splitting nice neat things off. Okay? We're getting our fire starting stuff ready right there. You have a stick a little bit bigger. You have something like this that you want to split. You have a big enough knife. You're not going to swing wildly with your knife. You're going to end up hurting yourself. You use a method called batoning. What you do when you use batoning, you set your knife blade on what you want to split. And you get another stick and You take another stick and you hit it. See there? Very good. That's the advantages of having a big knife. That's a couple things to do with it real quick so you don't cut yourself, all right? Mm -hmm. Another good thing you can do with a big knife, a lot of things that you want to work on, you want to scrape, you can use a big knife and you can scrape like this because you got two hands full, you can use it like a draw knife. All right, we've got enough stuff split here. We're putting the knife back in the sheath, okay? We got some bark here off these. I think I can get some bark off of this. Okay. A little bit of bark. Now let me tell you what we're going to use this bark for. Got this ground's bark. wet because it's been raining. Yeah. And we don't want to try to start our fire on the wet ground. Mm. So even though we don't have a lot of bark here, we're going to use just a little bit of this bark. We're going to lay this bark out. We're going to make a little platform with this bark. We're going to build our I'll fire on this platform of too. bark, just like this. All right? We're doing this in real time. This will just take just a couple minutes. We've got our real nice beaver chips here. These things are going to burn really good. We've got our cedar bark that you got for me. We've got some little shavings that I made by dragging that big knife like a draw knife across the sticks. Okay? We got our lighter. We got our cotton ball. We're going to shred this cotton ball up just like this. We're going to open it up. We're going to light this cotton ball. The wind's blowing. Might need a little break from the wind, right? Yeah. Take two of your sticks, pop them up like this, and you make in a V. Work in a V. Build your fire in a V like this. Okay? Take your cotton ball. Let's see if we can get this lit real quick. See if this works. Look at that. Even if it's wet and raining, that'll burn, okay? What we're going to do real quick, we're going to put our lighter back, drop it in the bag. we got this real nice stuff right here. This will burn easy. We've got our cedar. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now just think if we were wet or cold, we fell in the water. That would be perfect. Or we had some reason we had to have fire quick. How long did that take? About not less than a minute. Now, I'm going to tell you why we started this fire in less than a minute. We did all our preparation first. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. We had everything laid out here ready. You can't start a fire and then start running around the woods looking for twigs to put on it. You have to have everything you need laid out and ready to go. Now, we don't have a fire yet. We can mess around and let this go out. Let me ask you a serious question. What? Did you have fun this morning turkey hunting? Yes. How many turkeys did we hear gobble? Three. One got real close, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He was like up in the tree on the left side of our tent. He was real close of our blind. He was about 30 yards away on the ground. But you know what? He had hens with him. And he, didn't he liked come. those hens better than us. And he just wasn't going to come, was he? Nope. But you said something last night that really amazed me. You said it was fun being out in the woods, it was fun seeing what we've been seeing. Even though we didn't get anything, you fun. said it was awesome. That's a good attitude to have. 
We're just thankful that God has allowed us the health and the privilege of getting out in the woods and seeing his creation. Do you remember when you got saved?